Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is going very very well. Today's video is once again sponsored by Mordechai Sober, Ben Ita Rachel, may have all the blessings in all his endeavors. We know that the Mashiach is about to arrive, Hashem is sending us the Mashiach. A very interesting uh, thing happened to me when I was in Shul, when I was in synagogue this Shabbos. I was speaking to, to a fellow Jew in the synagogue and we were discussing, I said to him, Mashiach's coming. And he said to me, we know Mashiach's coming. The Torah tells us Mashiach's coming. It's prophesized. It's not, uh, what's the chiddush in what you're saying? He, said, he was speaking to me in Hebrew. He said, Machidush bezeh, which means, what's, what do you bring to the table by saying that that we didn't already know? And so I said to him, I respond to him, Baruch Hashem, I, according to him, I, I responded properly. I said to him, I said, the chedosh, the novelty, what we bring to the table is that Mashiach is coming now. We are bringing Mashiach right now. And he said, very good. And I think this, this is worth a video of its own because the discussion we had captures really what this whole purpose of reality is. Is that we know that Mashiach is coming. It doesn't take a, a person saying Mashiach is coming. is not bringing anything new to the table necessarily. However, the chedosh because we know prophecy already tells us yes it's a very good to share the word of Hashem to say Mashiach is coming to teach people who may not be aware but we're not we're not it's not a novelty it's not a novelty to say Mashiach is coming that's the word Chiddush but what is the novelty? Mashiach is coming now and what does this mean? and this is why the Rebbe always says we want Mashiach now why? because we have the ability to accelerate the process of Mashiach's arrival that while we know it is a promise that guaranteed Mashiach will eventually come, Mashiach is coming, Hashem is, is redeeming us, and Hashem is sending us the Mashiach. However, what is in our hands is to bring him right now. That while there is a latest date, there is a latest point that Mashiach has to arrive by that point, and no later, there is no limit to how soon he can arrive. We can bring him right now. Even to say tomorrow is 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 too late in from this moment right now. That we want him now. We're not going to say off the bat we want him tomorrow. We want him right now. And what does this mean? This is really a this is really a message to each and every one of us in every aspect of our lives that we have the ability to to to, to serve Hashem and to. To perfect this world, to make this world a divine place, that we are the soldiers of God, and that each and every one of us has a spark of the divine within us. And what does that mean? It means that there's no limit to, to how far we can reach in our service of God, to how close we can get to God, to how great we can be. We can be the Moses of our situation. We can be the Mashiach of our situation. We are, each and every one of us has a spark of Mashiach within us. And therefore, we are the Mashiach of each and every one of our situations. The Mashiach needs each, each and every one of us. Why? Because just like the head, just like the, the, the body needs the head, the head needs the body. And when the body is healthy, the head reaches greater heights. The head is in a healthier state. That the head is connected to the body. That as great as the head is and the head directs every part of the body, the kidney needs to be the kidney. And the foot needs to be the foot. And, and we learn in Chassidus what is so great about the foot. That the foot is the lowest part of the body. The feet are the lowest points of the body and the head is the highest. But the legs and the foot could take the, the, the head to places it would not be able to reach on its own. That literally the feet carry the body and take the body and move the body. And the head is great and as lofty as the head is. The head needs the, the, the feet to do its job, their jobs. And there's a message for each and every one of us. That we are the Mashiach of our situation. We can bring the Melech Mashiach, the King Mashiach, immediately. If we all return to our Master, to Hashem. And this is prophesied in the book of Isaiah. In chapter 59. Where, where, we, where we learn that Hashem says, When is the Redeemer going to come? When we return. When Jacob returns to Hashem. It's not dependent on some external event. And there's no prescribed date that Mashiach is coming. Because at every moment we can speed up the process. At any moment now we can bring Mashiach. Therefore, this is this is what we have to take into each and every one of our hearts. That 
that we have to yearn for Mashiach. We have to yearn for this this, this redemption. That Mashiach's coming will t- do two general things. It will remove the pain and bring upon tremendous pleasure upon the world. That Hashem is beyond time. And we are in, within time. But Hashem is within time as well. Hashem is both beyond time and within time at the same time. <laughs> and therefore, when we connect to Hashem, we transcend time, yet whilst within time. And when Mashiach arrives, we're going to experience this revelation of God's infinite light, which is beyond time, within the context and the framework of time. We're going to experience infinite within the framework of limitation. That will be such a tremendous experience. Just thinking about it blows our minds, because while we can understand what these words mean, the actual experience of it is something that we can only taste a little bit of it by learning about but it causes us a tremendous excitement and a, and a yearning for this reality. And there's two general categories to what Mashiach will do. His coming will, will affect the world. He will, one, remove, well, obviously he's all from Hashem, but the Mashiach will be Hashem's top servant. And this, this arrival of Mashiach will, will facilitate two general experiences that will be, that we all just want it to happen right now, to say the least. That we, the one, removal of all the suffering and darkness and pain, and an introduction of tremendous pleasure. So this is something to look, something to really look forward to. Hope you like this video. Mashem bless you all. Let's take all of this to our hearts and let's bring Mashiach now. Mashem bless you.